Hey, what is up guys? John here at Tech Mogo. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Soundpeats Run Free Open Ear Wireless Headphones. Sound Pete's. So in this video, we're gonna unbox these. We're gonna check out the features and specs. We're gonna check out the build quality. And more importantly, we're gonna see how they fit in sound. And I'll let you know what I think of them. So just a heads up, Sound Pete's did send these out to me to try out. So big shout out to them for doing that. It's very, very much appreciated. But as always, this is an independent review. They had no part in the making of this video. All right, so they come in this black box. We've got the Sound Pete's logo up top. We've got the headphones front and center, and we've got Run Free at the bottom here. This is what the side looks like. Got more run free branding. This is the other side. And then here is the back with some features and specs. So let's open this up and see what we get inside. All right, so inside the box, we've got some documentation. We've got the user manual. Put that off to the side. And we've got charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. And then we've got the headphones and they are very flexible, as you can see. So this will go around your neck. Here are the, the earpiece, I guess you can call it, the, where the, the sound is coming from. So this just kind of sits over your ear. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any kind of ear tips or anything like that. And then this part right here will go around the back. And it's super lightweight. And I cannot remember what the IPX rating is, but I'll look up, I'll, I'll find the IPX rating and I will list it in the video. This is out of plastic right here and this is silicone, but uh, it's more uh, stiff, I guess. It's got more backbone to it. And on this right, this right piece, this is where all your controls are right up top. Hopefully you guys can see. Got a nice Sound Pete's logo right on the side. Very cool. All right, let's uh, put these on and see how they feel. I think this is how they, they fit. So the, the speaker part just sits outside of your ear. That's how they look, guys. I mean, they're super super lightweight you can't really feel them um i mean you can feel this part that wraps around your ear but that's about it They're super lightweight once again and that's how they look so let's uh let's pair this with my phone real quick we'll see how they sound oh here we go so powered on flashing red that should be pairing mode their new device. And there they are. Sound Pete's run free. Hit connect. Hit pair. And they are paired. Paired right away. So far they are sounding super clear. You're not gonna get the bass that you would get out of a in-ear uh, earbud with the silicone tips. Those just provide a better seal so you're going to get more bass out of those kind but for what these are they're outside of your ear um, so that you can hear your surroundings when you're doing your thing your activity they've got they've got decent bass and nice clarity and also there is a app that you can download and change some of the eq settings on these which is really nice 
So these are going to be really good for someone that is super active. That's going to be outside doing outdoor activities like running, biking. I mean, you can hear your music, but you can still hear everything that's around you, which is really important when you're doing that kind of stuff. You don't want to be not hearing if there was someone behind you about to push you off your bike or if there's a car coming or emergency vehicles out and about. You want to be able to hear that stuff if you are going to be wearing these and doing outdoor outside activities. All right, so let's just go over some of the features and specs real quick. So these have Bluetooth 5.3. They've got a maximum working distance of 10 meters, so about 30 feet. And play times about 14 hours, they say, with a charging time of 1.5 hours, which is really, which is really good. And then we've got a battery capacity of 140 milliamps. Again, this is an open ear design so that you can monitor your surroundings. And again, we've got 16.2 millimeter drivers. So you're going to get some deep, decent bass, even though they are not the in-ear design. As far as vocals, from what I can hear so far, super clear. And the bass is decent. Again, it's not going to be super deep, heavy bass. But uh, for the design, I think it's enough. And for the use case of these earbuds, I think it's enough. And they do have a low latency game mode, which is just crazy. You normally don't see that in these kind of headphones, but these do. And I believe these are run, coming in at around 40 bucks. Not super expensive. It's not going to break the bank. I think for that price, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, man, these, these sound good guys. All right. So let's test out the controls real quick. All right. So that's volume up, volume down. There goes pause, press it again and it's play. That's the on and off button that does the pause and play. So controls are good guys. Very nice. All right guys. So some final thoughts. So for right around 50 bucks, you've got a pair of headphones that are well built, super rugged, great sound while you're out and about doing your activity, but it's also going to provide you situational awareness, meaning that you can still hear the things around you. So if you're out there walking, riding your bike, you're still going to be able to hear the cars, you know, the cars around you and the people around you. And that's something you really want when you're going to be doing that kind of activity with headphones on for this price point. I think these are well worth it. And if you guys want to check this out, I'll put some links in the description. As always, the Amazon links are affiliate links. So if you use the links, I'll receive a small commission and you help support the channel at no additional cost. It's very, very much appreciated. And if you found value in this video and like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash that like button because it really does help out the channel. And while you're at it, hit that notification icon so you're notified anytime I post a new video. As always, I'm John at TechmoGo. I'll see you in the next one.